Oh, thank you very much, thank you very much. The, the Peace Corps, thank you very much for that opening display. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Can we please put our hands together for them as they dance out? Thank you very much. Militant ladies. Thank you very much. That was a wonderful presentation. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today it is my great pleasure and real privilege to recognize a legend of our time, an astute developer, a great manager, father and icon of the Nigerian youth. Today, I speak of the voice of the voiceless, man of the people, and a celebrated man of outstanding qualities. Your, your Excellencies, Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to once again recognize the founder and national commandant of the Peace Corps of Nigeria, Ambassador Dr. Dixon A. O. Ako, FCITR. FCPA will resound the ovation as he comes to deliver a welcome address. Thank you, sir. Excellency, the Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, ably represented here, the Honorable Minister for Youth and Sports, distinguished senators here present, Honorable members of the House of Representatives, the Director General National Orientation Agency, the Royal Father of the Day, the Honor of Abaji, ably represented here. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, I'm highly hi delighted to welcome you all to this very historic and auspicious occasion which is our end of year gala night and award ceremony. While expressing our felicitation and deep appreciation, the Peace Corps of Nigeria is highly honored and humbled by your positive response to our invitation and the acceptance of these awards by the awardees, which is a testimony of your support for our collective goals and aspiration towards youth empowerment, peace building, and social order. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this gathering affords us the opportunity of assembling once again for the last time this year to take stock of our achievements during the year with a view of preparing ahead for the anticipated challenges that the year 2017 may bring. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, although we have do done frantically well in the area of youth empowerment and development, we will, however, redouble our efforts in 2017 in order to justify the commitment made by our legislators by passing the bill for an act to establish the Nigerian Peace Corps in order to give this organization a, a statutory backing. We know there is always room for improvement. Hence, this organization wishes to reassure you that we will all work on doing something just a little better than we have done. It is a tear of joy that our organization turned 18 this year, 
and this wonderful occasion was celebrated with pomp and pageantry. The airport making event, future anniversary parade at the Eagle Square, Abuja, and gala night at the International Conference Center, Abuja. Why the Sustainable Development Goals Awards was introduced. The occasion was attended by cream of eminent Nigerians cutting across Nigerian society. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it might interest you to know that as part of our corporate social responsibility, this organization visited Suleja Prison this year, where we donated relief materials to the inmate to celebrate Salah and 40 inmates with pardonable crimes were set free after we paid their fines. The African Union granted this organization in the month of July a special consultative status under its Economic and Social Council. The ECOSOC holds the African Union's mandate for youth affairs, peace and social development. Earlier on, it may interest you that the United Nations in 2012 also granted this organization a special consultative status, thereby enabling us to open our a desk office at the UN headquarters in New York City, UN office in Switzerland, and UN office